Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by one of our favorite longtime sponsors, Factor. Factor is fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved, chef prepared meals that come right to your door. This isn't something you have to cook for yourself that's gonna take you an hour. It is literally pre-prepared meals that are actually delicious that take two minutes in the microwave. This is the time of year when things start to get crazy and busy. It saves me trips to the grocery store, it saves me time chopping and prepping, and of course, no dishes at the end, which is the best part, but it tastes like a homemade meal. Today I had like honey rubbed pork chop with bacon and roasted broccoli with a garlic cream sauce. It's, it's better than I can cook. I like that I can go on their app if I'm going out of town or expecting family and change my orders or skip a week and I can browse their 25 meals and pick the ones that look the best to me and my family. So if you want to use your own little bit of practical magic this month, go to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code popcornandbed50 for 50% 50 off your first factor box. That's popcornandbed50 for 50% 50 off your first factor box. Practically magic. Okay, let's watch a show. Hello everybody, welcome back to Popcorn in Dread. I'm almost ready for October to be over, guys. <laughs> We're doing it though, we're having fun. We are watching scary but not too scary movies, but I feel like some that I've watched have tipped that scale to too scary a little bit, possibly with this one. Tonight I am watching Scream. I remember everyone wearing those horrific masks. Literally, they're so wrong, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure they are made famous by this movie. Now, I don't know if Scream is a person or a state of mind <laughs> or what in this movie. I just know that it's horror, but maybe kind of silly horror? I'm hoping, I don't know if Scream is the parody or they made a parody of the movie Scream, something like that. Anyways, I have no clue who's in this, have no clue what the plot is or anything. I just know this scary, melting, screaming face. So it's gonna be great. Good, clean fun. Okay, here we go. Remember, if you wanna vote on polls, have early access to YouTube edits, plus full length reactions, check out my hoop shown here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and scream. Okay, I don't know. <gasps> Holy, it's too loud. Hold on. Ah, hold on. Well, I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. Oh my gosh, it's Drew Barrymore. I had no idea. I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, well, so why'd you dial it again? To apologize. Don't hang up. I want to talk to you for a second. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> What's that noise? Popcorn. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. Don't talk to her like Favorite that. scary movie? Uh, Halloween. What's yours? Nightmare on Elm Street. I like that movie. It was scary. First one was, but the rest sucked. You got a boyfriend? No. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. What did you say? Oh. My. Gosh. <gasps> yes? I told you not to hang up on me. Dial someone else, okay? Listen! No, you listen, little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish. Oh my gosh. Some kind of joke? More of a game, really. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is my nightmare. Can you see me? Ah, I don't like this. What do you want? To see what your insides look like. Get away from the window. Get away from the window. Who's there? I'm calling the police. You should never say who. There, don't you watch scary movies? You better just leave, or else. Or else. What? Go get the knives. Go get the knives. I lied. I do have a boyfriend, and he'll be here any second. Don't go towards the window. I'm getting you scared. I'm shaking in my boots. Don't go towards the window. Oh, is there kids in the house? Steve, what? 
How do you know his name? Turn on the patio lights. Please, please, please. Oh, gosh. I want to play a game. Then he dies no! right now. Which is it? What kind of a game? Turn off the light. You'll see what kind of game. Oh, my gosh. No. Is this her? No. Is this her house or is she babysitting? Movie <laughs> trivia. I'll even give you a warm-up question. Name the killer in Halloween. Michael Myers. I, I can't Steve's think. counting on you. This is so mean. Michael Myers. Yes! Now for the real question. No! Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. No, it's not! No, it's not! It was Jason! I'm afraid not. It was, right? Mrs. Voorhees was the original killer. Lucky for you, there's a bonus round. But poor Steve, I'm afraid he's out. No! What just happened? Final question. What door am I at? Oh my hell. If you answer correctly, you live your call. Frick! <gasps> oh gosh! Oh, 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 knife, gun, I don't know. More knives, more than one. I might die. I might not be able to do this. Are you freaking joking me? This is not nice, guys. first thing in the morning. I won't be back till Sunday. There's cash on the table and I'm staying at the... Hey, Hilton. Have a good trip, okay? No, I was home watching television. The, uh, the Exorcist was on. Got me thinking of you. It did? It was edited for TV. You know, all the good stuff was cut out and it, it got me thinking of us. Now, well, two years ago, we started off hot and heavy. Solid R rating on our way to an NC-17. Things have changed and lately we're just sort of edited for television. Good line, Billy. Or Drew Barrymore? Does she know that her role ended like that? Can I see what you do to me? <laughs> you know what my dad will do to you? About the, uh, the sex stuff? No, I I'm not trying to rush you at all. I was only half serious. Two young teenagers were found brutally murdered, but our sources tell us that no arrest has been made. See, Beck and Steve Orris were killed last night. Talking about it would be killed. Oh my gosh. Who's up next? Uh, Sydney Prescott. Prescott. She was daughter of. Uh... <clears throat> Hi, Sydney. It's that guy. The police just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? Sydney, were you very uh, close to Casey Beck? It's Courtney Cox's ex-husband. He was in a dog movie I watched once as a kid. Yeah, Casey and Steve were completely hollowed out. Okay, guys. Ew. Hey, Stu, didn't you used to date Casey? Before she dumped him for Steve. That's the guy from Without a Paddle. He was also in something else I've seen on the channel. Stu was with me last night. Was that before or after? He sliced and died. That's not funny. Okay. Okay. Oh crap, her dad's out of town. She cannot stay here. She cannot stay here! And what happened to her mom? So you sure I can stay over? Because my dad <gasps> won't be back till Sunday. Yes. You know the police and reporters and everything, it's like deja vu all over again. I'll be there by seven. 
I don't like this music. By the girl's parents. The Woodsboro double murder case and the savage. The town's in shock. Why is there so many local channels? Only a year ago, Marie. A year ago? Was found and murdered not far from this peaceful town square. Oh no. Hello? Back to Shrine Lane. I'm on my way, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna swing by the video store. I was thinking Tom Cruise and all the right moves. I haven't seen that one yet. Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Oh, fucker, fucker. Mm. Scary night, isn't it? With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie. Randy, you gave yourself away. Do you like scary movies? Oh, come on, you know I don't watch such. Why not? Too scared. We're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm disappointed in you. Maybe that's because I'm not Randy. So, who are you? The question is, where am I? So, where are you? Your front porch. Movie, 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 movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. So, where are you? Right here. We need weapons. Can you see me right now? What am I doing? If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. You, you creep. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Why is he dressed in a freaking Halloween costume? <laughs> Kick him in the balls. <laughs> yeah, he seems weak. He seems like a. Don't go up the stairs! Out the window. Steve did it, you can do it. <laughs> Killer series in the house. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I found this. Do you wish to give yeah. up your right to remain silent? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's not Billy, is it? Sydney! Tatum, you can't be here. There's an official crime scene. Her dad's out of town, all right? She's staying with us tonight. Does mom know? Yes, doofus. Right there. Creepy, huh? Oh, get out of town. Jesus, the camera, hurry! Get away. Is that Sydney Prescott they took away? I'm not talking to you. Can you tell my me anything? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're a real pain in the ass. Oh my gosh, that's Courtney Cox. Are you sure it was a Hilton? At the airport. He's not registered there. Could he have stayed somewhere else? I don't know. Don't worry, Sid. Do we? They got that mask in. What are you doing with a cellular telephone, son? I didn't make those calls, I swear. What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? I wanted to see her, that's all. You didn't? Did you happen to ride by Casey Becker's house? No, I didn't. I didn't kill anybody. I believe him. Sydney, come on, you know me. I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? You sell this costume every five and dime in the state. It was a costume before. Oh. This is not real. This is not real. You think you did it? 20 years ago, I would have said not a chance. Today, damned if I know. It wasn't Billy. What's up, Knight? What happened? Are you all right? If so, how's the book? I'll send you a copy. Oh! Is she writing a book about her mom? Do you really think Billy did it? He was there, Tatum. Telephone, honey. Who is it? For Sid. My dad? If it's him. Hello? Hello, Sydney. Leave me alone! Looks like you fingered the wrong guy. Wait, who are you? Wait. Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Oh my gosh. Where's her dad? They've got to know it's not Billy though, right? Cotton Weary is currently awaiting appeal for the death sentence. His cellular bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. Any calls made to you or Casey Becker are being cross-referenced. It's going to take some time, but we'll find him. Stop right there. I'm not here to fight. I just need to talk. Camera, now. Off yep. the record, no cameras. You owe my mother. Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Somebody was going to write a book about it. Right? Oh my gosh. Cotton Weary's in jail. They're going to gas him. You still think he's innocent? I think you falsely identified him, yes. Have you talked to Cotton? Many times. And has his story changed? Not one word. He was drunk that night. He left his coat at your house after your mother seduced him. I saw him leave wearing it. You saw someone leave wearing that coat. Oh my gosh. Cotton murdered my mother. What if it was the same guy from last night? 
killer's still on the loose, isn't he? Those murders are related. Sorry I mangled your face. Wait, Sydney, don't go. An innocent man on death row. A killer's still on the loose. She's pumped about this? I haven't seen Billy around. Is he really pissed? Oh, you mean after you branded him the candy man? No, his heart's broken. think it's me no somebody was there someone tried to kill me i know me. i know no, it wasn't me sid he called me again last night at tatum's house you see couldn't have been me i was in jail remember <sighs> sorry please understand she panicked i have a girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me you know that's not true then what is it billy i was attacked and nearly filleted last night i mean between us you haven't been the same since yeah. Since your mother died. Mom was killed. I can't believe you're bringing this up. I know. Well, I think it's time you got over that. I mean, your mama? Two of your fellow students just savagely murdered. Let me tell you something. You're both expelled. Get out. It was just a joke. A horrific joke. She was never attacked. I think she made it all up. For attention. I hate high school. What if Sydney killed Casey and Steve? Oh, my. Her mother was a tramp. She watched her mom get butchered. Oh my gosh. One day she snaps, wants to kill herself, but she realizes that teen suicide is out this year. What a horrible person. No. Come on, Sydney, like we talked about. They should be running out the door. They're running up the stairs. Someone there? Get out! Gosh. Ah! Several students were seen wearing scary masks, but this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. Hi, Gail Weathers, field correspondent, top story. I know who you are, Miss Weathers. How's the eye? You look awfully young to be a police officer. I need your attention now, kids. All classes are suspended until further notice. Citywide curfew beginning at 9 o'clock. Looks like we've got a serial killer on our hands. Gotta knock off a couple more to get that title. H have you located Sydney's father yet? No, not yet. Well, he's not a suspect, is he? We haven't ruled him out as a possibility. I'm sorry, am I keeping you? Can, Can you, you leave him alone? alone? You are much prettier in person. So you do watch the show. Dewey, don't fall for her manipulation. Prompt to party tonight. My house, celebrate this little siesta, what do you say? <laughs> Gathering into the friends. What do you say, Sid? I mean... I am so buff, I got you covered, girl. Why are they not more afraid? <laughs> yes? He's going after the principal? The police are probably still here, right? Damn it. Would you call me? Huh? Not your friend. He was wearing the sweater like, um, Freddy Krueger. Did you see that? Is that real? Did they do that on purpose or was that in my head? <laughs> that wasn't a game for him this time. Why'd he do that? Maybe was having an affair with your mom. I mean, your dad has always had a town on business. Maybe, maybe your mom was just a very unhappy woman. If they were having an affair, then how come Cotton couldn't prove it in court? I can't prove a rumor, that's why. Created by that little tabloid twit, Gail Weather. There's been talk about other men. And you believe it? I mean, you can only hear that Richard Gere gerbil story so many times before you have to start believing it. You know, if I was wrong about Cotton Weary, the killer's still out there. It's starting to sound like some Wes Carpenter flick or something. Carpenter. I thought I understood pop culture references after all these movies. Oh my gosh. This is not funny. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? It was just a misunderstanding. He's got killer printed all over his forehead. No, it's not. Why the cops let him go, smart guy? This is standard horror movie stuff. Prom night revisited, man. Why would he want to kill his own girlfriend? There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. Simplicity. What's his reason? Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with me. What, she's saving herself for you? Maybe. Do you think Sid would go out with me? Oh. <laughs> Was he and she's all that, no, too? I yes, if I seen him in high no. school as this little jerk. And why can't they find her pops, man? Because he's probably dead. His body will come popping up in the last reel somewhere. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if they'd watch prom night, they'd save time. There's a formula to it. Everybody's a suspect! 
I'm telling you, the dad's a red herring. It's Billy. How do we know you're not the killer? Maybe your movie-freaked mind lost its reality button. You ever think of that? If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. What would be your motive? It's the millennium. Motives are incidental. I don't like this. We gotta catch this guy. It's not any of these high schoolers. It's a freaking psychopath. Hey, Sid, just think, if they make a movie about you, who's gonna play you? I see you as a young Meg Ryan myself. My luck, they cast Tori Spelling. You girls don't go too far. Vital Phone just faxed this. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott, Sydney's father. Well, there's no way a cellular could have been cloned. Yes. Guess what tomorrow is? The anniversary of his wife's death. You wouldn't. Find Neil first, make sure he's our man. What about enforcing the curfew, Dewey? What brings you to these parts? Never know when or where a story will break. Not much of a story here, just a bunch of kids cutting it loose. I'm gonna check the party out. Do you mind if I join you? Let me just get my coat. All right, you are not gonna believe who's here. It's a chick from Top Story. What is she doing here? She's with me. Dewey, you found my father? I'm afraid not. Should I be worried? Not yet. Remember we don't go places alone? Especially into a garage. Oh, Tatum. <sighs> he wouldn't really do it with a house full of witnesses and people, would he? Oh my gosh. Hello? And what movie is this from? I spit on your garage. This is the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. Okay, let's see. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. Cut, Casper. That's a wrap. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ah! Shovel, shovel, shovel. doing here? Hoping I could talk to Sid alone. Where's all the parents? I got a delay. 30 seconds? It'll be fine. Just record it. So, um... So... I'm sorry. Guys, I feel like I've hardly said anything this whole time. I just feel like... It's up here. My stress is up here. Serial killers are real. You know, it's almost like... You lost your mom. Yeah, I know, but you're stuff right. like Alien and the thing—they're less mm -hmm. scary because this could be real. I keep lying to myself about who my mom was. Yeah, I think I'm really scared that I'm gonna turn out just like her, you know. It's like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs when she keeps having flashbacks of her dead father. This isn't a movie. It's all. It's all a movie. It's all one great big movie. You can't pick your genre. I'm scared. Are you sure? Yeah. No. It's like... <laughs> Someone's gonna find Tatum very soon, aren't they? That's why she always outsmarted the killer in the big chase scene at the end. I've, I've seen this movie. movie. Don't you know the rules? What rules? There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. Number one, you can never have sex. <laughs> number two, never drink or do drugs. It's an extension of number one. And number three, never say, I'll be right back. I'm getting another beer, you want one? I'll be right back! He's gonna find Tatum. Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm gonna go check it out. Care to join me? I'd love to. Do we? Be right back. I thought maybe we'd walk. You're not scared, are you? I don't think she's scared of anything. Why has no one found her? <laughs> So amazing. No. They found Principal Henry dead. Let's go over there before they pry him down. No! Too hard. Hey. Sickos. This portrays teenagers and uh, reporters in a very bad light. I'm sure I'm coming fast. Slow down. Your sister's dead. Is that what you're looking for? My whole life. 
This is Neil Prescott's car. Sydney's father? Jesus, what's he doing here? We gotta get back. I don't think he was her dad. I don't know. When you're arrested, you're allowed one phone call, so I was just curious. Who'd you call? I called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. But when I called, I didn't get an answer. You don't still think it was me, do you? No. I was just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. Using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. Really? <laughs> you mean from jail? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Oh, my God. Huh? Billy, watch out! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Weapons. We can take this guy. Scream! No, like literally. What kind of room is this? Scream! See? What? Watch out, Jamie. You know he's around. Oh, there he is. I told you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look behind. It's not even funny. Uh, behind, Jamie. Come on. Thirty second delay. <gasps> drive, we gotta drive. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're not getting in the driver's seat. Where's Stu? You don't run into the barn. You don't run into the barn. Lock yourself in it. Call the sheriff for backup. <laughs> Even funny. Her Dewey and her sister and Okay, 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 okay. You flippin' psycho, who are you? How do you do that? Oh my gosh. No. I'm at Stu Mocker's house on Turner Lane. It's 261. Bite! Bite! Oh. Excuse me, Jesus! We gotta get the f out of here! Stop right there! Stay back! Who did it? 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 Guys! Sydney! Sydney! He doesn't know who to trust. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Give me the gun, it's okay. It's okay. Just help me. Stu's flipped out. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. Really? Oh. What? Anthony Perkins, psycho. What? Corn syrup. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. Surprise, Sydney. What? Oh, now, whoa. What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. You! We already played that game, remember? What is wrong with them? We'll never get away with this. Tell that to Cotton Weary. Wouldn't believe how easy he was to frame. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. He was fun. <laughs> no! Oh. This cannot be right. Why did you kill my mother? You hear that, Stu? I think she wants a motive. <laughs> did Norman Bates have a motive? Did they ever really decide why Hannibal Lecter liked to eat people? Don't think so. We did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was a slut bag who flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. I cannot believe this. Is that motive enough for you? 
What the heck is wrong with him? Your mother was fucking my father, and she's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. How's that for a motive? Now you gotta die. Those are the rules. Oh, oh this is the greatest part. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you, Sydney. It's a scream, baby. Hold on a sec. It's after midnight. Your mom's anniversary. We killed her exactly one year ago today. It's all camera. This is all on camera. What do we have behind door number three, Sydney? Daddy. Whoa, hold it. Guess we won't be needing this anymore. Uh huh. Got the ending figured out yet, Sid? They're framing her dad. Kills you and shoots himself in the head. Perfect ending. And then what do you do? I'm ready, baby! Hit it! Hit it! My turn! Stay to the side and don't go too deep. Oh. My. Give me the knife! You get the gun, and I'll untie Pops, okay? This is beyond messed up. Houston, we, we have a problem here. Gun, man, the gun, I put her right there, he's not there. Right here, asshole. I've got an ending for you. The reporter left for dead in the news van stumbles on you two dipshits. Foils your plan and saves the day. Shoot. I like that ending. Okay. Oh! Yeah, man. What? Works better without the safety on. Ew, 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 ew. I've got to learn what a safety is on a gun. It keeps coming up. This is Gail Weathers signing off. Baby, you're gonna love this. Are you alone in the house? Not so fast. We're gonna play a little game. Find you dipshit! Get off! I can't, Billy. I ain't coming to be. What's your motive? Billy's got one. The police are on their way. What are you gonna tell them? You're going to the jail for the rest of your freaking lives. But Gail's not dead. Gail will tell them. Police! I always had a thing for you, Sid. Don't go back. He's gonna be alive. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, Randy, I thought you were dead. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. Where's Neil? Oh, ew, ew, she stuck it in the inside. Oh, oh. We win, right? We win. Please don't open your eyes or I'm gonna. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life yeah. for one last scare. Not in my movie. Oh my gosh. Hang in there, baby. Gail Weathers with an exclusive eyewitness account. Amazing breaking story. <laughs> Amazing. It all began with a scream over 911 and ended in a bloodbath. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't even tell, but I feel like I'm shaking. That was not the fun kind at all. I mean, none of them are fun, but gosh. Based on the reactions of some of the non-killer teenagers in this movie, you it, that seems like it tracks. Oh, the principal's dead. Oh, cool, let's go see ya. Like, that's how killers are made. Oh my gosh. It's scary because there are real serial killer. People who get off on killing. People who can't... Oh my gosh. I don't know that I have more scary movies in me. That one hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh, and I know it's just a movie, but they kept quoting scary movies and that's what's even more messed up about it. Isn't there like 10 of these? Why? More people go psycho, which... Okay, well, I really wanted Tatum to live, and I wanted Dewey to live, and I wanted Sydney and her dad to live. So, 50-50 on that. Poor Dewey and Tatum, their poor parents. Ugh. 
Okay guys, I did not like that one very much. It was like Halloween kind of with the teenagers and stuff, but for some reason, Michael Myers, no, of course he was a real person too, but he's like supernatural, right? He's the boogeyman, like these are just psycho teenagers who, okay, I'm done. <laughs>